fires, um, floods, uh, uh, anything major disasters like that. Greg Schaefer with Prospect Fire District says the satellite units will change how they operate in emergency situations. Or uh, any time uh, the power grid may go down and it'll still provide us with the opportunity to be able to communicate. And the mobile units use a gas powered generator and are designed to be used off the grid. They're basically a backup communication device that gives you broadband, which is telephone computer access. Scott Trailer is with the Coos Bay company that builds the machines. He says the units come in handy when communication lines are down. So when everything else is not working, these link to a satellite in the sky and will connect you to satellite and telephone. Butte Falls and Prospect Fire Departments each got a device. 911 dispatch in Jackson County will also keep one on hand. And when emergencies hit, they'll use a chopper to get it where it needs to be. Gold Beach has used it actually in several rescues. Got clear up in the middle of nowhere where radios didn't work, cell phones didn't work, popped it up and got the help they needed. Jackson County paid for the units with a federal grant that cost around $40,000. Getting the grant for our area started with Community Health Center. As we've moved out to the more rural parts of our uh, community, we find partnerships with school-based health centers to be a really good way for us to be able to affect that service delivery. Peg Crowley with Community Health Center says the clinic's rural health services rely on mobile units and the internet. She says getting the grant for these satellites is an insurance policy for patients. We hope never to have to use it. Um, it, it is truly an insurance type of product that we brought to make the rest of our system work. The units will stay with first responders who say now when disasters strike, things may go a little smoother. Provide us with the opportunities to be able to function as a as a emergency services when otherwise we might not be able to. Covering your news in White City, Caitlin Conrad, News 10.